What is up, Andy? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the American Farmer YouTube channel. So, you may notice something different here. And that is I have a new camera now. The other one, as you know, had spots on the lens. This one doesn't, but this one is not a wide angle like the other one was, so the picture is a little bit more. But, you know, such is life, you gotta deal with things. It is, uh, I don't even know how it's gonna work yet, so we're, it's just the first video and trying it out and having to hold the camera a lot farther away now to get a good picture. So, we'll see. Topic of today's video is going to be the sickle bar mower. Now, as you all know, this thing is broken and see where the cracks are. They're down here, around somewhere. So, the one there, if you can see. And then there's two back in here. If you can see in there, the same focus. There's two back in there. I can't see them, but I think you guys probably can. Maybe not, I don't know. But that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be uh, tearing this thing down and seeing what we can make of it. So I'm pretty sure that bar, like looking at it right here, I'm pretty sure that this bar and these teeth, once these caps are off of both sides, I mean, I don't think they have to come off the top, but they probably do. And I think once those are, once these caps are off, um, this whole assembly should basically just fall out. We do have to, um, we have to get all these bolts out. We do have to get all these bolts out because we got to detach it from the, uh, the mechanism, the, the oscillator, I guess is what, the drive mechanism. Um, but I think that's only these bolts right here that make that work. So, yep. So it should be pretty straightforward. It's just a lot of bolts, and but I do have the Milwaukee Impact, so that should make quick work of that. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll just time lapse that. But first, oh, we get these freaking deer flies everywhere biting me. But first, we were out fishing yesterday, and so we got to clean up the old boat. So I'll get that taken care of, and then we will uh, start on the sickle bar. We got the mower all apart. The camera ran out of film because it only had a two gig card in it from when I just bought it. So um, I put a new card in it and she seems to be working good now. I actually had to turn the, uh, the record settings up to, 10, up to 1920 by 1080 HD because it was recording like 960 by 540 before. But I mean, the picture still looked fine, but you know. So here's the piece that we dug out of the thing that broke. And it's not this piece, it's this flat bar that goes on top of it. This is what broke. And it runs the length of the implement. And what's interesting is that this bar is held onto this thing by these little, like, pins. But 
they, it looks like it's pressed on or like it's stamped, you know, but either that's not the case or the guy that we were talking to for parts today doesn't have any clue what he's talking about because he was like, um, I don't know, we just couldn't get answers. So I'm going to be going down to the John Deere dealer tomorrow, which is a little inconvenient because it's about like a two hour drive one way. But what are you going to do when you got a broken mower that you can't use? So I'm going to figure out whether it comes as an assembly or whether we have to get the bar and these little pins and press them all out, press new pins in. I have no idea. So we're going to figure this out tomorrow. I'll be back with you in the morning when I'm on my way to deer. All right, you guys, we are off to Dameron this morning. See what we can figure out with the parts and... Oh boy, copyright. <laughs> we'll see what we can do and um, taking the F-350 today. And um, so yeah, we'll catch you there. Well, we just got here. We're gonna go see what they have to say now. And yeah, hopefully we will either leave with parts or order them. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We were in there, we didn't film anything, but we did get the parts. They are on order. I'm pretty sure we got everything right, so. All right, I guess that's about it for this video. You'll have to tune in next time to see the um, the reassembly, picking up parts in the reassembly. So thank you for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, click the little bell, and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.